Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl cat sketch today. We're gonna do a crazy makeup effects video because you guys have been requesting that. And I was at this NYX thing and I saw this lipstick and it gave me thoughts and ideas because this is the perfect color of the makeup I've been wanting to do lately. Can you guess by this color? Of course, the title of this video, but I really want to do Mystique, also known as Raven, from the new X-Men movie in the X-Men series. So I feel like Mystique's this color, almost like the color of the, well, this is a little bit darker, the be blue, beauty, blender, beauty, 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 beautiful, beautiful, beauty sponge. So I'm gonna attempt to do that today. I am super nervous because not only is it a whole body of blue, but it's very intricately patterned. I'm gonna be doing all the raised little edges of the little patch quilt look at formations of patterns on her face. And just so y'all know, I am not nude. I do have a tough on thing. I just uh, need this surface area to do blue with some pattern. And for a little information in future videos, and most of my videos, if you see little red spots, it's not ringworm or anything crazy. I just have allergies and my skin is like glass and breaks. So. Let me put this wig cap on because I'm definitely, definitely, absolutely, positively going to use a wig later. Since her hair's like in the new X-Men called the Dark Phoenix, Jennifer Lawrence who plays Raven Mystique. She looks a little different and I like the style of her more now because she looks more humanized than Mystique's like chameleon-like features. And I don't know why, it makes her more relatable to me. So I'm really excited to see the movie, but I'm not excited to be blue, only because blue, if you didn't know, the pigments in most blue makeup, especially with body painting, I was testing out first, so my fingers are already teal, it stains your skin. But I found a way to combat the blue, hopefully, after, how to get rid of it, and hopefully that will work, fingers crossed, or else I'm gonna be a Bloomin group member for the next week, or whenever it fades off my skin. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our liquid latex, and this is the tricky, tough, hard part. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do all the little intricate details of the pattern raised marks on Raven Mystique's forehead. This is just by Mayron. I got one of those paint, the liquid latexes that you could paint on, just so it'll be a little bit easier. And then I'm gonna get just a spatula really get those sharp edges and then get it with the baby wipe so if it doesn't take one layer of this it might take two you have to be really patient wait for it to dry I'm gonna use a hair dryer though if it's not dry real quickly really fast and build up just some edges you don't have to do this you could actually just paint the pattern but I want to be as you know me I try to be as realistic as I possibly can unless I really want to dis display some skill of paints so you can paint it too and what this is kind of remind me of is like a weird tiara that's glued onto my head or like coachella vibes of those girls like that put jewels on their head but this is like extremeness that's embedded in my skin for some reason that's what it reminds me of i hope this comes out i've been practicing so it should Ooh, don't frown like that turn that frown upside down cat don't be blue Gosh, the puns are terrible. All right, this is harder than I thought because this uh, likes to skip and leave uneven patches of liquid latex. There, I cleaned it off. That's all that I hopefully needed to do. This is so hard. I feel like I'm doing a science fair project or I'm back at school trying to paint on a science fair board. But it ain't no board, it's just my big forehead. <laughs> I like that I didn't have to block my brows for this because uh, she has more humanistic colored brows in this movie. I just like the human quality even though she's blue. I feel like I'm painting scabs onto my face. I kind of want to... Does anyone else watch Dr. Pimple Popper? That's what I feel like I'm creating fakely with all of these little marks on my face. Like I kind of want to pop them because they look like the beginning of a whitehead that I want to pop, as weird as that sounds. I don't know about you, but I used to be obsessed with watching Dr. Pimple Popper's Instagram videos, and now I heard she has a TV show, which is so cool. Asian girls represent. But 
if you like pop pimple popping videos, I might tell it, um, explain to venture into, well, I'm weird, and I also love earwax removal videos. They're my favorite. Don't know why. I'm a weirdo. It's the same type of relief to me of like cleaning out, probably because I'm a person that loves to organize and clean stuff, so I don't know. Maybe that has nothing to do with earwax removal videos, but there's something about getting earwax out of an ear canal that reminds me of spring cleaning for your face. That's going to suck getting those off next to those hairs, the baby hairs. And we cannot forget the little scabbies. <laughs> scabbies. I'm a terrible X-Men person. The little effects on her collarbone, decollete. They remind me of crocodile scales. If humans had crocodile scales, they would look like this. All right, I think that's good. Let's wait for it to dry. Or we could speed it up by using, oh, this is so on brand, a crocodile. <laughs> Hair dryer. And then after this, we can see how many more layers of liquid latex we may need, we may not need it. So now that all of our liquid latex patchwork marks on our face and body have dried, I am going to mix some cream makeups to put on my face and then we might put some aqua paints on the rest of our body. Um, what I am going to use is a mix of a light blue, a teal, and I'm also going to mix a darker blue color just to get the perfect type blue that I'm looking for to have the skin tone of Mystique Raven. So we'll see how this mix. You gotta become a little scientific chemist with makeup mixing. All right, let's swatch this color. Ooh, yes. Okay, I think we have a good color here. I like using the warmth of my fingertips to have a more even base for something like this yes blue i'm gonna look all types of crazy fun fact when i was first playing with makeup not on youtube just in general with my friends just being wild crazy having fun i don't know why but one of my friends was one color and i was completely blue this was before even avatar and we wanted starbucks and we went through a starbucks drive through late at night and they threatened to kick me out and ban me from Starbucks for being blue, which is weird. And I'm like, how are you gonna know if I um, come back because I'm blue now? And she was so upset. It was so funny. I don't know why I found that funny. I wasn't even like being mean or making any mess or causing any type of scene or situation for them. I just, I wasn't even driving. I. So I was covered in blue, it was a little dangerous for slippery blue hands to drive. So my friend was driving and I was just in the passenger seat like, hi, can I have a good day, milk frappuccino? And they're, then when I went to get my drink from the driver, they're like, no man, you're not gonna be able to come back here now that you came blue. I'm like, what the heck, why? I was like, what is their problem? She must've just had a bad day and she just did not want to see a blue person that day. Most of the people I find who are having a bad day in a public situation like that especially if they're working there and they treat you like trash um it's nothing to do with you it's usually unless you are being you know but i don't see how me being blue would be that offensive towards her i wasn't being mean i was paying the full amount for my drink made sure my friend handled the card so i wouldn't get blue all over the payment <laughs> weird but here we are today Many, over 10 years later, being blue. Again, gotta get in those nose, the nostrils. Man, I'm gonna have to really take a bath after this or a shower. I feel like a Jenna Marbles video. She is my all time dream collab. I don't think it would ever happen. I'm too scared to email her. I should email her. I would love to collab with Jenna Marbles. She doesn't know I exist. I've met her one time, but I'm sure she doesn't remember. This feels like chocolate syrup. Don't ask me how I know what chocolate syrup feels like on my skin, that sounds weird. I haven't put chocolate syrup on my skin, but if I had, it would feel like this. It smells like melted crayons. Funny thing is I was gonna bust out my airbrush machine for this video, but I ran out of blue pigment for it. All right, now I'm going to, since I did the cream base on my face, I'm gonna get the cream makeup again that I have left over and stipple it on with a stipple brush in areas that needed to have texture like around those 
latex marks we did just to get all the cracks and crevices make sure we do not see human forms of skin since Miss Mystique Raven is supposed to be all the way true blue. While my face is still drying, I'll move on to aqua paint to cover the rest. And that's a lot of color matching, but we're gonna do it. I'm gonna get some light blue and this teal, this is an old well, turquoise and some tropical teal aqua paint from Graftobian. Mix with Graftobian's Catalina blue. So I'm doing all three of those on my body. The type of brush I'm using is going to be like a foundation kind of brush. I like to go in layer and layers and swipe down so we will get as much streaks hopefully. Then I'm going with the Catalina blue. Oh yeah, that's what we're looking for. So I only had to do two blues instead of three, I think. It's like mixing the genie with ocean colors. Aladdin's genie. Kind of like that color of the new genie. Still haven't seen the new Aladdin because I'm so scared of it ruining my childhood <laughs> images of, of what I thought Aladdin to be. I feel like I'm doing a disservice to Robin Williams if I watch it too. Really getting that hairline. And let it dry. Going back in with that dual fiber brush with the cream to really stipple on around those pieces. I'm gonna go in with some eyeshadows too to really make them pop and stand out. It's time to get our translucent setting powder and tap that on our face. I'm just gonna do it to about here because I don't want the neck or my eyelids and stuff creasing. Or else I'm just going in with that paint to make sure we don't have many splotches. Now I'm gonna get some of this matte black eyeshadow. Coloring her eyebrows, the detail of all of the liquid latex pieces and forms that we painted on earlier, just so we could see all the detail and make her look poppin'. Just getting a little pencil brush and we're gonna paint on the eyebrows with the matte black eyeshadow. We're gonna tap that lightly to make it a darker blue on top of those formations. That's not working, so. We're gonna move on to these lips with the dark blue eyeshadow. This is the Ofra Brights palette, the pro one, to do the lips. And I'm gonna do cream paint on those pieces since that didn't seem to work. With the eyeshadow, I should've known. I'm gonna do a little bit of contour on her with that blue eyeshadow. Yes, contour, cheekbones. I feel like Jennifer Lawrence has great cheekbones, so why not? And she has a nice chin. Plus, I feel like we lose the chin with being monochromatic blue like this. I'm gonna take some black cream paint and some blue cream paint and mix them together to get the color for the pieces of liquid latex that looks like scabs to me. Start painting away. Five years later, <laughs> still doing it. It's worth it though, it's gonna look cool, hopefully. There's little pieces of liquid latex that you didn't even paint on, but they're just like, there's a lot of detail to this. You could still paint it on, it's fine. Imagine being one of those old school painters. Like, imagine the person that had to paint the Mona Lisa, and the person that had to stand there while being painted. This is even kind of difficult for my patients, imagine. I feel like I'm painting cornflakes on my body. When I was in makeup effects school, we learned how to do extreme like arm burns, like if an iron burnt our skin and like we did like almost like lava looking scabs. You know how lava breaks apart with like the rock and it's black pieces floating in lava? We did effects like that, but on our arm with cornflakes. And I feel like I have blue cornflakes right now pasted to my body and I'm painting them. <laughs> As weird as that sounds. Forgot to do liquid latex on this side. Don't know why, but we're still gonna paint this side. Now it's time to put on our wig and <laughs> my hand. <laughs> it's human flesh color. Put on the wig and put in some contact lenses. You don't have to put contact lenses on. You don't have to put a wig on. You can do whatever you want. But um, we're doing super budget and I just took my Ariel Little Mermaid wig and cut her. I need some bobby pins. 
When I was a kid, I thought bobby pins were called Barbie pins. I also thought that the library was called library. It's telling lies and eating berries, library. Not that you did that there, but that's just how I pronounced it. She has like the schoolgirl tuck behind the ear type style. Put some of this little blue paint here. Now for my least favorite part, putting on contact lenses, because I don't want to ruin this makeup with tears. <laughs> Put in the new contact lenses. Yes! Now the other eye. And I'm blind now because these aren't prescription. Now for, I'm going to put some blue liner in my eye. And now we are done with our makeup look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Mystique Raven X-Men movie. I can't wait to see Dark Phoenix. I actually love the new look of Raven Mystique. All the products I use in this video will be, of course, listed down below in the description box. Leave a comment down below if you could be any of the X-Men, who would you be? I would definitely be Mystique. And why? Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. And I do beauty makeups as well three times a week on this channel. So hit the notification bell to know when my videos go out. We do a lot here and have a lot of fun. I will see you guys in another video when I'm not blue and I'm back to human. I'm probably not gonna show the removal of this only because I'm gonna go directly into the shower with it this time. I know how you guys love that. Leave a comment if you guys like seeing the removal of this as well. I know some people absolutely love to see the removal of makeup and I understand why. Just let me know. Love you all, bye! From me and my human hands.